Hi you guys, I am going to be doing a video today which is a little bit different as you can tell I've got makeup on so I won't be doing a tutorial but I'm sure you guys are aware that it's so important to keep your brushes clean and a couple of days ago I actually got myself um, a Lorella brush cleanser. Now I've never tried any of these things before so it's very new for me. Um, I'll read the instructions the best I can and obviously I have brushes that definitely need some cleaning right here. So this is my plan to make sure I've got some clean brushes for the next couple of days. Now don't get me wrong whenever I'm doing makeup obviously I don't use dirty brushes. <laughs> I make sure they're clean but in saying that I've used so many different products that I'm trying to find one particular way of cleaning brushes. You know what I mean? So um, that is obviously what I'm doing research on. All right, so this is the packet and it's quite small as you can see, um, sponge and brush cleanser with a cleaning mat. So that's all very exciting stuff. I was just looking around to see if I've got scissors, but it looks like I can get into this with my nails so hooray we just came back from dinner tonight we went out um, to the stone house which is uh, close to where we live and um, it's a really lovely restaurant we've been there a couple of times before I've had such a long week that I just didn't want to film while I was there but I'm sure there'll be another opportunity when I can do that so reading the instructions it says I wet my brush head or sponge and swirl gently onto the silicone pad until the lather has lifted away the makeup builder. I thoroughly rinse and squeeze out any excess water, then dry it with a clean towel and allow brush or sponge to air dry. Drain any excess water in the dish and closed container. So let's get it out and see what we've got in here. I'm actually really excited because it's new and I have a good feeling about this. So it comes in this little tub. I was wondering if it, it had a smell. Um, sponge and brush cleanser, yes, yes, yes. Lorella, obviously you can see that's the brand. And I'm going to be taking the top part off because there's a little lid. There's the, <gasps> whoops, here I go, dropping everything. So there's a soap inside and then the pad is on top. So from the understanding I get, I wanna make sure I do this right. So wet the brush head. Okay, so it looks like I get one of my brushes. Oh, it is already wet anyway. Oh, so because it's wet already, it obviously you can see that there's soap gathering and it's um, mixing up with the water on my brush. Now, I don't know how long you do this for. There's no instruction, but, oh, until the lava has lifted away the makeup buildup. So, do I know that? Okay, and then dry with a clean towel and allow the brush to air dry. So I do have clean, like, face towels here. So I guess if you don't know that it's done enough, you can go back and wet it again. But I do like the fact that it's quite easy to do this. I'm sure there's somebody out there who knows a really great way of doing this, but um, I'm learning. <laughs> so I guess you do that with each brush, do you? And most people would use like warm water and sort of, you know, what do you call that? Squeezing the brush, bristles like that. Okay, interesting. All right, let's try another one. So that's how it's looking at the moment. Obviously it needs to dry. So I'll go and dry on a towel. And then here, oh. Yeah, see, these brushes have been wet previously. So it's, um, yeah, and you can see the buildup of the makeup on there. I just, with brushes that have brown, are brown like this one, 
The only thing I would say is I can't really tell, but like, do you, it says swirl it around. So I'm, I'm taking its advice and squeeze out any excess water. So when we think that that's really washed, like taken out all the makeup, then see how I'm just squeezing it out. And then, all right. There's a little bit that's come off. You can see the the makeup. Oh, that's definitely a lot cleaner than it was. Like I can see that's like shiny. Definitely better. All right, maybe this is my new way of cleaning brushes. Thank you, Lorella. I really appreciate it. Oh, look at that. Can you see that white soap coming through? I know that that's working its magic. So I thought I would share this with you um, because I have bought other cleansers. The only thing is I haven't actually bought um, ones that come with this uh, pad. And I've seen people clean their makeup online, YouTube, I have, and this is where I'm showing you. And they've been doing that. They've been using a pad like this or a glove as well. That's the other thing I've seen. And it's, um, really clean their brushes. So now you know, I got this from Lurella and I'm really pleased with it. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys later. Bye.